Hello everyone, this is Sam and in today's video we're going to be talking about the new event that is going to start happening next Tuesday. It is called the World Boss Beatdown and I think that it is pretty interesting to have a look at what Arnonet is trying to do by making such events within the game when we have been talking for quite a while that we wanted some winds of change. So let's see after the intro just what is coming with it. says on the website from May 6th to May 13th you'll get a bonus box of goods for every war boss you participate in defeating. There is a rare chance for these to contain especially shiny items like cosmetic infusions and invisible footwear. As a matter of fact, the chat code has been leaked for this item and I'm going to be getting that chat code to show you in the game just what exactly we can get from these boxes and we're going to start from there. Let's have a look at what exactly is in that box. This is the bonus box of good. If we're looking at the top part of it, nothing too crazy in there, just materials, that's probably what most people are going to be getting out of these. Then the Incommon, slightly better materials, nothing too crazy either. The rare section has the Toxic Spore skin, I'm glad I sold mine off, this one has been coming back way too often. And then, that is what interests us, the super rare part. I'm believing that quite a bit of people are going to be getting these polyluminescent undulating refractor amulets. I think that that's what most people are going to have for sure, because then we're talking infusions, right? Invisible boot box, that one is also going to be more rare than the rest. Monocles and the case of Lissa are going to be more prevalent than the top tier infusions, but these are going to be present nonetheless. We see the Festive Confetti Infusion in Power, we see the Liquid Aurelium Infusion in Condition, Queen Bee in Condition, and Chak in Condition. This is exactly the same as we had in the Zephyrate Supply Box that comes with the Festival of the Four Winds, and this is yet another attempt by Ardenet to give to the more wide population access to one of the most expensive items in the game. If we have a look at my wondrous character right now, these are actually the infusions that I am wearing. Uh, as you can see, I have the glow from the Aurelium, I have the Queen Bee popping, and I have the Chak Egg Sack right behind it. Of course, these infusions are extremely expensive, and having them being in that box might mean that their price would be fluctuating. And actually, if you've been keeping an eye up on Gilwars 2 Exchange, I've seen quite a bit of people, including myself, making offers to sell our expensive infusions. And why exactly did we do this? Because of one thing that was said on the forums by none other than the Balanced Lord, Sir Irina. Irina said, while well, I can't talk too much but what we have planned beyond that, we aren't restricting ourselves to inside the box design for future events, some of them may have significant shake-ups to their game modes during the time to run, future iterations we're thinking about are no daily limits on more boss loot, rare harvesting nodes, community goals and rewards, collections and meta achievements with titles. That's pretty interesting because if we go by both texts, you're getting this very special box from May 6 to May 13 for every warbrush you're participating in defeating. I don't think it's gonna be a dangly little chest on the right side of the screen, I think it's gonna be in the warboss loot. Might be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking, because I think it's easier to add it to, uh, to definite drop from a chest than to make it a specific drop for everyone who participates, right? So, no daily limit, which means that a lot of these boxes could be created, and indeed, the price of the infusions could be affected, as we saw last year with the Zephyrit supply box from the Festival of the Four Win, the price of the Chak infusion went from 19,000 gold on Gears 2 Exchange to 15,000 gold before swiftly recovering as the event ended and getting back to its current price of about 20,000 gold. Now someone had our best interests in mind. And that person is no other than Sir Chris Cleary, the defender of the weak and the protector of the rich. I know it doesn't make much sense, but that's actually what he does. Anyways, Chris Cleary said, Further clarification to set proper expectations below. Bonus event won't always guarantee bonus economic rewards. This, this event right now is a one-off. 
So while we were thinking it might have a huge impact on the market because it might set a precedent, apparently this is not setting a precedent, which is pretty important. Then no daily cap for the meta event rush will not make the first release. So that means that the infusions that we're going to be getting right now are going to be ones that are limited to one tagging per day. Another part that is pretty interesting beyond the economic aspect is the fact that they are working on these events with a team that is not part of any content creation team. So that's pretty good. It means that they can actually make stuff on the side, ship it, not exactly with the releases, and they are taking feedback. So make sure that you head onto the Gilras 2 forums if you want to participate in making the future events much better and better as they should be. But now, in order to get back to our original question, would that make 2019 the year where you, Mr. I do not have 20,000 gold, able to wear a check infusion? Well, maybe. I would say that this is the year where if you have 10,000 gold, you should put an order on the condition damage check infusion or the power damage confetti infusion. But then again, even with this event and the return of the Bazaar of the Four Winds, we are not quite sure that we would have that many infusions being generated into the game. You should not be betting on something like this and instead be building your portfolio in order to get more and more gold and eventually acquire a chuck infusion of your own through any means available which might mean off trading post trading. Now, I hope that every single one of you found this video interesting and that my insights on the matter have helped you shaping your decision making for the week to come and for the Festival of the Four Winds. We will have another video coming live real soon about the Festival of the Four Winds and I hope that you guys are going to be enjoying this one just as much. Of course, we are keeping the trading post classes live and motivated. So we're going to be having a video of the such throughout the week where you guys are going to be having fun doing this world boss rush. I'll be working on that stuff. And now, if you want to take everything a little step further, after having watched this video, you might want to drop a like, a comment. You might want to, you know, start chatting with me on Discord or even maybe join my server. And if you want to support me, you got some links in the description for that. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Instagram, you can even become a Patreon of mine. That would be pretty cool. And I wish to thank every single one of these Patreons, actually, for helping out as much as they do, just like my Twitch subscribers do. And now, I wish every single one of you some happy boss rushing to maybe get a lucky drop.